caught in a bad spot. But <clears throat> he needs to be more careful about what he says because, like, later in the night, he said another dumb thing, right? He uh, he, he he comes back, he, he rage quits the stream, right? Uh, mm -hmm. he, he says, oh, I got to get off and delete this VOD real quick before someone downloads it and starts making fun of me. Of course, they're recording it live, so it was already being uploaded by, by the time he figured that out. So then he comes back online and he says, uh, all right, boys, we're going into the lion's den. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? At this point, Chiz and I were watching Ice Poseidon build a house in his backyard. So we were like, we got to switch. We got to switch over to Wings. He's he's going to the lion's den. Whatever gotta that see means. That. Yeah, it's all right, what's, what's the lion's den? Sean Ranklin's Discord. He goes into Sean Ranklin's Discord, just unannounced, boop, pops in there. And he discovers a lot of the people that he thought were his friends are in there. And not only that, like like one of the guys even calls calls out a guy. He's like, you remember Predator? Remember that kid Predator? He donated to you. He modded for you. He loved you. When he's like, yeah, he's in here now. He's just muted. <laughs> like, like Wings is trying to like tangle with this, this mob, is sad. And, he, and he's asking them. He's like, "Why don't you people like me?" And they start airing their grievances. They're oh, like, "Well, a festivist to remember." This, in this the one, Franklin this one guy pipes up. This one guy pipes up. He says, "Man, I was playing with you. You was my hero. I played with you. I loved you. I donated to you. We was playing Modern Warfare 2, and you said, "Fuck you. You're dog shit." Remove yourself from my friends list, and I've hated you ever since. And like each person had like a story. Like, they're like one guy was like, "I they donated." Were... <laughs> he's like, "I donated five hundred dollars to you, and then you banned me." And he, he's like, "You want the money back?" No, I don't want the money back. <laughs> like, Dude, can I interrupt for that thing? Is why I, like you were asking me, "Hey, would you kick a girl out of the party or whatever?" It might sound crazy to some of you, but there are people out there who like playing with me would be the highlight of their week. And I take that really responsibly. Like that, that weighs heavy on me. That's why I'm nice to people. Like there's two reasons. One, it means a lot to them. Two, that one little interaction with me will be their permanent impression. It will override all of the online stuff they've ever seen. So mm -hmm. don't be a dick. That, that's critical. And so was, uh, this, this whole, fucking Sean uh, Rankin, Ranklin, is one of the uh, the clip channels correct? The premier clip channel. The current the top premier dog. clip channel. Yeah. Okay. He does so good work. So he hopped into there, and was this all being streamed? I assume by uh, by, by that Wings. Discord or by, so Wing streamed all this. Yes, Wing streamed all of this. Wing streamed himself going. In, he's he, that's what he, he was by like. By the right, way, well, I like it I, as a show. Good going, oh, Wing Wings. Oh yeah, oh, Wings is like you know up. what. I'm going to go into the lion's den. We're going to live stream. We're going to stream it live. And, uh, and you know, we're going to have a Wings knows what the audience is looking for. He knows why he's hot right now. Oh, please. You're giving him way too much credit. <laughs> he's just, he stumbled and fell backwards into some entertaining content. That's what happened here. Were like, way more people watching that stream than his normal stream? He went from 250 to almost 1,000. <laughs> he's genius! He's real. He's ge this wasn't yeah. someone the, fucking with him, like, no. paying for... Okay. This no, isn't 62 IQ. Group. This is 4D chess. <laughs> he's playing here. <laughs> no. It, it, it went from 250 oh. that were watching Dark Souls to, like, 930, I think, was the peak. Right around there for the yeah. Into the Lion's mm -hmm. Den stream. This is 4D chess. This is Rooftop Connect 4. It was. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing his damned, I don't know, you just, you just pick a random is. place and then a board game and put it together. <laughs> okay. like underwater backgammon, or it doesn't matter. <laughs> it, it went on for a while with him in there, like arguing with these people who are just random people, you know, who, who dislike him for whatever reason. And, uh, and, and, and they each take their turn answering his question, which is, why do you hate me? And what would it take for, to get you to stop hating me? And the guy says, uh, he's like, all right, my turn, my turn. What are you gonna get the fucking surgery? I donated for the surgery, and he's like, "I'm, I'm getting it in a week. I'm scheduling it in a week." Oh, and and they're like, "They're like, you no. said you were getting it scheduled in a week two weeks ago, and again a month ago, and again three months ago." And he's like, "Well, my schedule's fucked. My sleep schedule's fucked up. It's been fucked up. Yeah, but what you don't understand is I need my mama." And, and, and look, y'all can make fun of me needing my mama to schedule this all you want. Most people don't even have their mamas to help them out with something like this. I'm lucky. And they, they all laugh at that, of course. And then it, it went a little bit further, and they this said... This is the one uh, bariatric clinic that's open from 12 to 12.20 <laughs> every other Tuesday. <laughs> they're, they're like, you keep saying you're going to quit this. You're going to quit streaming YouTube mm -hmm. right after you get this surgery. 
how are you going to do that? And he's like, well, I expect to lose 250 pounds by the end of the year. And they're like, that's absurd. Boogie had this surgery and he hasn't lost he had, he didn't lose 250 pounds in in six months. And That's it was a crazy. more effective surgery than the one Wings is planning. Yeah, and he was a heavier guy, so you know, percentage wise, he's likely to lose weight faster. There, he's like, well, Boogie most likely cheats, and then they blow up. They're like, whoa, Boogie's cheating. He said, he said, quote, Boogie is cheating on his diet, on his weight loss plan, and so they really sunk their teeth in on that because everybody loves Boogie, right? He He's the bastion of positivity. He's a, he's a real nice guy. He's, he seems to be fighting through all sorts of complications with the things with his wife, his health, his, this weight thing, of course, trolls on the Internet. But he, he keeps an upbeat, positive note about himself, and we all enjoy that. And he, he goes right after Boogie, and he's like, well, why? I'm not saying he's cheating. I'm just saying maybe he's cheating. And they're like, that's just as bad. Like, I, like, I'm just I, alleged he's cheating. I didn't I'm say just, for a fact. I'm just postulating. The thing is, so I... I <laughs> I, just in the interest of being as accurate as possible, one, Wings also said Boogie's an inspiration, that he really likes him, that he's a good oh, guy, etc. There cetera. was a lot of backpedaling Th- right There was. The- and two, I'm like 99% sure Boogie himself has said, maybe on this show or maybe in his videos, that he's had moments of weakness, little imperfections here and there. Not that he's not on a diet. He is on a diet, and you can tell in his success. But he, you know, we're, we're all imperfect. I know I am on my diet, so sure. yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but the 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 just random attack is what it seemed like. It seemed like the sort of ways that he'd he'd randomly go after us you know, every now and then. Like to, uh, oh, to, but, to, get but of, to get a little bit of clarification, was this uh, like you said an attack? Was this like a a like he was a vitriolic towards yeah, Boogie? Nah, Boogie? Or was it like I a couple of like, comments in. in passing? I felt like or, it was more but, like loose lips and in the family of excuse making. Right. And and that is where wings live. That's where he's born and bred the excuse making. Nothing is his fault. Nothing's his responsibility. Nothing is his like of his own doing. So when he says, I'm going to do this and, you know, Boogie's done this cheating. Somehow it just tied into more like it just it fell into the family of excuses for me. I can't explain my line of thinking. And the sleep schedule thing to me is particularly unacceptable. Right. He's like, my sleep schedule is fucked. OK, who amongst professional YouTubers hasn't had a screwed up sleep schedule at some point? Right. You know, we... does every other week. It's like <laughs> cyclical. And, yeah. And yeah. Look, so look, that's, look, but I, wait, I that's a... where Wings is going. He's like, by next week, I'll have come around to a normal sleep schedule again. And that is the window we'll use to schedule the surgery. Oh, my goodness. Wings like the, the smallest amount of effort could get that corrected. You know, it, it, you, you don't can... need to correct it. See, here's the thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. You need to fix your sleep schedule. If Monday morning you got to be at work at 8 a.m., you got to put in a full day till 5 p.m., and then you got to drive home safely, right? But if you're an adult man and you got some shit to do Monday, we can go with no sleep. You can just go with no sleep, right? You just be like, oh, I've been up. It's 6 a.m. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to drink two cups of coffee. I'm going to get in the truck and drive to mama's house, right? You just do it. You just you go can. and you're like, oh, I am, I'm pretty sleepy. Guess I'll just do what I've got to do. Do you drive to Mama's house or walk to Mama's house? I'm confused. He, dri- he, he drives to Mama's okay, house. Okay, okay. Well, he, couldn't, like, well, he lives understand. in like, Mama's just, house. To just <laughs> set up, he drives to, just, to where Mama stays. To just set up an appointment for this, I feel like you could do that all over the phone, right? He's already had consults, and so it wouldn't even be about like having A to drive his mom. three-way call he could, could get that done. Like, if he goes to bed at, like, let's say, <laughs> it's, let's say his sleep schedule is like truly effed up, and he goes to bed at 9 a.m. He could just set an alarm for like 1 p.m., wake up for like, you know, 15 minutes, make the call, and then just hop back to bed. Or this. Let's say it's 6 p.m. and he feels the need to go to bed. Anyone who's lived this lifestyle knows he's waking up at midnight if he does that. He could have two cups of coffee and then go to bed at 11. And his sleep schedule is actually fixed. It's not that hard to do. He doesn't do drugs, Woody. My, yeah, my... The drug of coffee. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't think he, he does drink drug, coffee. I, guess, I, I, I think that's something that, that he, he well, definitely frowns Get yourself upon a G like Fuel. Coffee. You'll get some caffeine, a little lead. You'll be all set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He should get some pre-workout. That's what's weighing him down up. right now. I'd be funny if he, he was like, well, I'm 460, but I think a good 8, 10 pounds of that is from the lead from the G Fuel over the years. <laughs> I don't feel bad making fun of them. but <laughs> I, I, I really like the guys at G Fuel. I'm an asshole for bringing it up. But... um. 
the oh we like them we just don't like their poisonous product that's true yeah and you don't want to go crazy mo- like denethor Look, cutting those tomatoes on you know lead, lead i was plates. telling kyle before the show i have seen things come in and out of what's healthy and what's unhealthy right? when cigarettes first came out they suggested that the soldiers drink or smoke them right gives you something to do smooths your nerves in World War II, they were pushing cigarettes on everyone. Now they're unhealthy. Then I've seen eggs. They called them bad when I was a kid. Now they're a good source of protein. Who knows? Who's so sure amongst us that lead won't be an essential mineral in 2020? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> you act like you know it. everything you about nutrition. Know. Lead oh, is know. the only thing in the environment that naturally counteracts fluoride. That's what they tell you. <laughs> it's bad for you. Romans ate it all the time. They lived a long time, I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> bring back lead. Sure. Yeah, that. Uh, I think the research is in on cigarettes, though. Woody. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think ah, likely to see a big U-turn. They started it as turns bad. out those doctors from 1959 were correct. <laughs> Smoke them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it was. Uh, I don't mean to go politics on it. It was actually, I think, during Clinton that they took on the cigarette companies for the first time because they were huge donors. And you know, the, like, or in the 80s, there was actually. Like confusion as to whether or not cigarettes were bad for you. Yeah, Everyone but the companies knew. knew in the '60s. The companies yeah. knew forever. They're like, you know, we're we're uh, we're hawking poison out there. You guys know that, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Nothing takes my mind about that poison we sell than <laughs> nice smooth cigarette. Yeah. All right, let's get back to selling poison. <laughs> yeah, they didn't care. They so, care is making.